Mayong adlaw sa tanan. Today's video, we're going to take you for an up close and personal of this 2021 Toyota Vios 1.3 XLE that is mated to a CVT or Continuously Variable Transmission. And for this video, I'm going to take this Toyota Vios XLE for a startup and a full in-depth tour review, showing you the most interesting features from the interior as well as the exterior. And without further ado, so let's sit back, relax, and enjoy of this video presentation. So here's the key. Let's go ahead and get started. The steering operation of the 4th Gen Toyota Vios is an electrically powered assist function which features a rack and pinion setup. A 3-spoke polyurethane steering wheel is standard for the XLE trim, equipped with sport grips at 10 and 2, silver finish at the bottom spoke, and mounted controls which can be found at the left spoke for the audio system. Under a 1NR-FE 1.3-liter naturally aspirated gasoline engine, there is a choice between a 5-speed manual or a continuously variable transmission, otherwise known as a CVT, for the XLE trim. Showing here is a CVT gearbox, which is essentially an automatic transmission or automatic gearbox having a numberless set of gear ratios instead of a fixed, like your typical automatic trannies in every car. This allows a smoother drive and provides you the best fuel economy that you get. Featuring here is a manual shifting action using the plus and minus and gear shifter, which contains 7 virtual gear ratios. A 1NR-FE 1.3 liter naturally aspirated gasoline engine is the powerhouse of the 4th gen or the revamped 3rd gen Toyota Vios XLE. It features a dual overcam 16 valves and an inline 4 cylinders with electronic fuel injection and dual VVTi technology. It puts out 98 horsepower at 6000 RPM and 123 newton meters of torque at 4400 rpm fuel tank size is 42 liters with the emission rating of euro 4. this can be paired with either a five-speed manual gearbox or a continuously variable transmission known as a cvt the drivetrain of the vios is a front wheel drive vehicle in regards to its fuel economy the vios xle cvt equipped with a 1nr-fe engine has attained approximately 16.4 kilometers per liter Based on this figure, the Vios XLE with a CVT proves to be an excellent choice for daily driving regardless of the nature of your adventures. In short, this is perfect for a summer drive. So, what do we talk about? Vios. Toyota's B-segment subcompact sedan, which was first introduced in the year 2002 in Thailand, known as the Suluna Vios, and a year after, it came down to the Philippine shores. As it came down in the Philippines since the first day, the Vios is well known in every Philippine road and from here and there, there are Vios everywhere. 
whether it is a taxi, a private car, a commercial car, a company car, whatever. From there, it became more popular as it is. And Toyota made a job well done in the first place. I mean, come on, it is very common here in the country, particularly here in the city of Iloilo, which is the place I live. Today, we will be witnessing this gorgeous facelifted 4th gen Toyota Vios with the XLE variant. And what I want to find out is, what makes this Toyota Vios became more popular on the Philippine roads, and how does this become the best-selling car that many people are interested in? Let's discover and dig out the answer that we asked. Right off the bat, you see the 4th gen Vios is sleeker, more aggressive, and sexier compared to the previous 3rd gen model. In all honesty, this is not a totally all new model, as in, hindi to redesign ng current Vios. Actually, this is what they called a facelift version of the XP150 generation model. Therefore, the styling cues are different generally from inside and out, but it retains some of the aspects from the third gen model, like the chassis, engine, and all, just like the XV50 generation Camry, with the same strategy which Toyota made a clever thing. Truthfully, the Vios that we have here is based on the Yaris Ativ in Thailand, and so far, Toyota claims that this current Vios that we have here is a revamped version of the 3rd gen model with improved styles, aesthetics, and features. Some of you saying that this is a 3rd gen facelifted model, while others saying that this is an all-new 4th gen model. Kadalasan tayo mga Pinoy, tawag din ito Wonder Woman generation, which kind of makes sense to others. So, it may be considered as a 4th generation model. Since this was a facelift, the front face of the Vios is more upscale and aggressive when compared to the pre-facelift or the first facelift model. It gets a spindle-like front grille that mimics the design cue of any Lexus vehicles. Pwede pwede ito pang chicks pare. What? <laughs> Okay, shut up with that. Anyway, <laughs> on the XLE, it is equipped with 4 beam halogen headlights and LED front fog lights. On the sides, you get body color door handles and side mirrors, as well as indicators located at the front fenders. Move towards the back, you can see the premiumness of its own, which reminds of a European luxury car. At the back, you get bulb type taillights and a shark's fin antenna, all of which are standard for the XLE variant Vios. As we jump inside, the Vios interior is terribly stylish but simple as usual from a subcompact sedan. For the XLE, it doesn't seem to be advanced like the simple air con controls, mechanical parking brake, analog gauge, fabric seats, and the like. However, you get some premium quality features from any modern cars out there. Still, you get some hard touch plastics everywhere, but these materials are high quality, durable, and reliable that would last for long. So, it's a great job for Toyota. The only advanced feature that you get in this car is the touchscreen head unit, but the head unit itself is very simple to use and it is very self-explanatory. You know what, if you think about its maintenance and parts, there is no question that the Vios ay napakalo maintenance niya and also the parts of it are really easy to find anywhere. That is why Toyota became a huge success thanks to this almighty Vios. And I think that the Vios is a very reliable car that everyone is interested in. With that, its resale value never depreciates so rapidly due to its high quality standards from its materials, features, mechanics, and all. Overall, the Toyota Vios proves to be one of the best selling and popular subcompact sedans in the Philippines. Despite being an easily driven vehicle transporting you from point A to point B, the Vios is economical, reliable, and one of the most affordable cars in the segment than any other counterparts out there. This XLE variant with a CVT, which costs less than a million pesos, I think you would be ready to take your money out of the bank and buy this car of yours. Trust me, you will never question this one. 15-inch alloys are the shoes of the Vios XLE, which are wrapped in Yokohama Decibel E70 tires measuring 185-60 R15. Brakes are ventilated discs in front and drums at the back. Suspension-wise, McPherson struts are equipped in front, whereas the rear gets torsion beams. Speaker, bottle holder, and a storage. Mirror controls, window lock, center locking. Window controls, all four windows in this car are powered, while the driver's side window gets a fully automatic function in both directions. A button to turn off or on your uh, vehicle stability assist or traction control. 
storage, bonnet release sever, boot release, fuel door release, Vios floor mats. The driver's seat of the Toyota Vios XLA gets a fully manual adjustment. Seat back, height adjuster, and down there is your seat sliding positions. You have the same set of adjustments as found on the driver's side, however, it loses out on the height adjuster. Right there is your Vios uh, floor mats. So let's start it up with the door closed. The facelifted Vios XLE is equipped with Toyota's integrated touchscreen head unit featuring 7-inch LCD display, various media connectivity settings, and the sound system itself is provided with four speakers. The stock sound system of the Toyota Vios works uh, absolutely not bad. It's very fair. Center armrest and underneath you have a small amount of size storage. 12 volt power outlet that has a maximum power of 120 watts. Small cubby. As shown earlier, hand operated parking brake. Two cup holders. Uh, you can use it as your storage if you want to like so standard aircon controls temperature to the left different modes to the right and your fan speed control to the in the middle on top your defrost recirculation button and right here is your hazard switch on top your two air vents so this is the head unit itself. Currently, you are in a Bluetooth audio streaming with your uh, track number, uh, duration, I mean song duration, rather, uh, your song title information, uh, album, artist, 
go forward the song, go backward, uh, go forward the song, go backward the song. Pause and play. Browse. You can browse uh, your different uh, song playlist. Connect to your Bluetooth. Hit this button to go to your main menu. Now on your main menu, you got your media, web link, phone, and settings. On your phone, you get your dial pads, go to your contacts, speed dials, call history, connect to your phone via the Bluetooth. Settings, you got your language, or you can set your language, set your clock, go to your Bluetooth and you calibrate your sound and reset it to default. Hit this button right here to tilt your screen to get access to your uh, CD. You can tilt up, tilt down, disk eject. Yan. In a nutshell, that's pretty much it in this infotainment system of the Toyota Vios. On the left of the screen, you got your home button, go back button, and your phone controls. While on the right side is your USB and auxiliary integration. Hit this button to go to your uh, multi-information display. While these two buttons right here uh, correspond to, to set the time. Light indicator controls and your wiper controls. On the steering wheel, these controls house your your volume controls and your seek track, and this mode button right here. Uh, press and hold to mute the sound. The steering wheel in this car gets a manual tilt only, adjusting using using this lever down here. Central locking. Grip handle at the ceiling for the driver's side. Driver's side sun visor with a vanity mirror. Interior lights or reading lights. And a manual dimming rear view mirror. Front passenger side sun visor with a vanity mirror. Grip handle at the ceiling for the front passenger side. It is a good decent size amount of glove box. It has a two part partition. Very nice. Alright, so that is it for startup. We can put this vehicle off and continue with the rest of our review. Speaker, 
bottle holder and a storage. You also have a window control. Entering the rear cabin of the Vios, you'll find a spacious interior with comfortable fabric seats making your passengers stay nice and cozy. Based on my height, I've found sufficient legroom and headroom. Therefore, you will enjoy your summer road trip on the XLE variant Toyota Vios. On both front seat backs are storage pockets, grip handles located at the ceiling on both sides for the rear, and a cabin light is located in the middle on top. Boot capacity of the 4th Gen Vios is 326 liters. A spare tire, toolkit, and jack are located at the boot floor. Three airbags, anti lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution and brake assist, vehicle stability control, heel start assist, child protection lock for the rear doors, high mount stop light, ELR seat belts in all seats wireless door lock and alarm system equipped with Toyota vehicle security system are the standard safety features of the Vios XLE. Before this video ends, I would like to extend my big thanks and special shout out to Uniwheels Iloilo for allowing me to feature their second-hand or slightly used vehicles in the market. If you are interested to buy one of these, head down to their leadership or you may contact them via the contact details located in the description box below. Thank you for tuning in of the startup and a full in-depth tour review of the 2021 Toyota Vios 1.3 XLE and that is mated to a CVT or continuously variable transmission. I hope you like this video and if you do, make sure you hit thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, if you are subscribed to my channel, please hit the notification bell button to get notified for my latest updates. And don't forget, follow all of my social media platforms. As always, I will see you next time with for more latest videos on YouTube. God bless you, more power, I love you all, and mabuhay.